Hi, in this video I'll be covering how to separate text and numbers in Excel. When you're cleaning up some data, maybe you've got something where the number and text are combined and need to be separated or split into columns. It can be something as easy as when a fixed set of numbers come after a text or a little bit more complicated where some set of variables come first. Or it could be something as hairy as when a bunch of numbers and text are joined together in multiple random links. Do you have to write complex formulas or VBA to clean this up? No way. It can be done with a few keystrokes and maybe even just one hand. I'll show you examples of how we could separate the number and text in native Excel and then with Power Query. For the last example, you might be surprised which solution is easier to implement. So let's get into it. So I'm going to cover three examples of how we can separate the text and numbers. Now here in this first example, you may see this where we have address here and the number is all mixed up with the letters and there's no space in between. So the easiest way to do this is type 2422 in this example, space, Tau Maj, street, and let's do another one, 98. Oxford, and you can see that it's automatically filled that in. And this is called flash fill. Press enter to accept that. Let's double click that and see that it has separated all the numbers and the text quite nicely. Now, maybe you don't have the numbers at the beginning. Maybe you have it at the end, but it's still combined or mushed up together. Let's go to demo two here. So here in this example, I'm gonna type Mercedes dash Benz and then the, to separate the number space here, 1998. Press enter, nothing happens here, but I don't need to keep typing it again. I can just press the keyboard shortcut, Control E, and it's gonna fill it in there, double click the auto fit. And it's filled that in there. And the reason why I can type Control E, because there is a command in the ribbon, you go under home and you go under fill, you can see flash fill here. And of course, Control E is the keyboard shortcut for that. And that is how we can do it with flash fill. Now, if you want to be a little more adventurous, maybe we can use Power Query. And Power Query can do this similar thing. You don't need to do flash fill. Uh, you can do this as part of your other steps in doing something. And what we need to do is bring this into Power Query. This is already a table. Uh, Power Query needs to bring it in as a table. And you can see that it's table because I have this table contextual menu here. If I go here, there is no table contextual menu. To turn something like this into a table, you just press Control T, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna create a table. My table has headers, and I can do that for this. But I'm not gonna do there. Let's go here, back to my demo one here, and let's bring it into Power Query. You go to Data, go to From Table and Range. It's gonna open up the Power Query Editor, and all I need to do is select the dress, right click, go where it says Split Column, and you can say From Digit to non-digit and it's going to split it because the first part of it is all digits and everything else is non-digits so it's separated it one extra step here of course is you want to combine it back together i can press address one press the shift key address two right click and have merge columns and i want a space right so i want to have a space what's my separator space click ok and then i have my merge column which is the address now that's for the number that appears before the letter. Now, how do we do it with a letter before a number? Let's close and load that one. And it's going to, oh, put it into another sheet. And that's our example of what Power Query does. It's going to load into another sheet unless you specify otherwise. Let's go to my other one where we have it, the number after that. And so the same thing. This is also a table. You notice the table design here. Go under data, go to from table and range. It's going to bring up the Power Query editor. We're going to right click here on the header and you can see split here, but we can also go under home here, split column and go from non-digit to digit, letters to digits. And you can see at, that it has split it out. And I'll click close and load and it's gonna load it into another worksheet. And so that's where you have it where the number uh, is at the end. Now let's go to demo three here. And this is kind of a hairy one where we wanna split numbers to letters. And you can see that these are the browser system information, Mozilla, Ubuntu, Chromium, and they're all kind of a mixture of numbers and letters all in there. And I'm not gonna start with this one first. I'm not gonna start with Flash. I'm gonna start with Power Query first. And this is an example where you can kind of look at both of these tools that you can use and see which one is better. Um, go to data, go to from table and range. And you can see here that I'm gonna try to split it. So if I do split column by digit to non-digit, oh, it's a mess, look at that. There's a lot there. Let's delete that step. How about from 
right click from non-digit to digit. digit. And same thing, I'm gonna to have to do a lot of transformation, combining and merging and deleting. But here we can also split text and numbers with almost like a flash fill. And we're gonna do column, add column from examples. This is almost, this is just almost like flash fill. And the first one I'm gonna do is Mozilla, Mozilla. And in this case, I can even put the space here, 5.0. Let's see if it picks it up, not in the first one. Let's try it again, Mozilla 5.0, press enter, and it's picked it up. Nice, click okay. So let's try getting the middle stuff out. Add column from examples. Let's move my cursor up there. Ubuntu space 10.04, press enter. Didn't pick that one up. Let's try Chrome. Chrome 41.0.2228.0, press enter. And it seems like it's picked it up. Let's see. It didn't pick up uh, the 427 there. So let's try that. Let's see if it's going to pick it up. Gecko space 2012. 0427, press enter. So let's go back, press delete. And you can see here, you know, there's, it picked up some things, but it didn't pick up a lot of things. So here in this example, maybe Power Query is not as good. Let's go and cancel this. And I'm gonna kill this one. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna use this, discard. And let's go in back to the sheet here. And let's see what Flash Fill does. So I'm gonna do Mozilla. 5.0, press enter, and then press control E. Let's see if it picked it up. Well, it picked up the Mozilla part. Let's see if it picks up Ubuntu. U, B, U, N, T, U, space 10.04, press enter, control E. Not yet. So let's try Chrome, 4.1.0.2228.0, press enter. Let's double click this and see if it picked up some other things. Let's hear Gecko, 20120427, press enter, control E. Let's see if it picks that up. And Flash Fill is looking for some more examples. Let's give it some more examples. Let's see. Let's see Chrome and then Chrome here, Chrome here, that one. And you know, actually it's picked it up quite nicely here. You can see that it's picked it up well. So a lot of trial and error even with something like this and it's done a lot of it for you so you don't have to write any crazy formulas to do this pretty much picked up a lot of stuff here and except for this part here we don't need safari let's delete that press control e and see if it picks it up again okay it did that ubuntu picks that up and so it's actually picked up pretty nicely let's see if we can pick up the last part of it chromium chromium one one dot 0 0.696.0, press enter, control E. Let's see, Safari, that should be Safari. Double click here, it should be Safari space 537.36, press enter, control E. Still hasn't picked that one up, click OK. Firefox, uh, let's see, 15.0A1. Press enter, control E. Let's see if it's gonna pick that one up. It's a, a bit of trial and error. And this is part of what you could be experiencing when you're doing a lot of uh, cleaning up with your data. And, and Flash Fill is not perfect, but it gets there pretty closely. You can see that if I go to the different ones here and then kind of match them, they are not bad. They pretty much matched up. And I don't ha I didn't have to write any crazy formulas for this. And so Flashfill kind of took care of that. With Power Query, it does something similar to there, and it wasn't as good as using a Flash Fill in here, in this, in this example. But there are different ways that you can separate your text and numbers, either with Flash Fill or in the split by digits or non-digits in Power Query. It just depends on your particular use case. Cleaning data these days is easily done in Excel without writing formulas. It's just typing or pointing or clicking in a few commands. Whether you use Flash Fill or Power Query to split your number and text or text and numbers, it can be as easy as one, two, three. To see more Excel videos like this, click the banner at the end.